Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mario Tamburini and Mikhail Botvinnik. This is the game from Leipzig Olympiad 1960. Where is Leipzig? Leipzig is a city in Germany. In this game, Mario Tamburini had white pieces and he started with d4. Botvinnik played knight to f6. c4, g6, knight to c3. And now, if d5 is played, then we would have Grundfell defense. Botvinnik played bishop to g7, and Taborini played e4, preventing d5. Botvinnik played d6, kings Indian defense. f3, same-ish variation of kings Indian defense. Botvinnik castled kingside, bishop to e3. It is black to move. Botvinnik played b6. Not very common move. By far, c5 is the most popular move in this position. So is e5. But we have b6. Bishop to d3. a6. Queen to d2. It looks like that white intends to castle a queenside. c5. And Tamburini decided to close the center. e6. Knight from g to e2. e takes on d5. e takes on d5. Knight from b to d7. Knight to g3. Placing a druk on open file. Pinning the bishop. White move. Tamburini castled kingside. Maybe he wanted to castle queenside, but he wasn't very confident about this. Let's see what would happen if white would castle queenside. Then b5 could be played. And after c takes on b5, knight to e5 attacking the bishop. Say bishop to e2. Then a takes on b5. And this position looks very risky for white. So Tamburini castled the king said, It is black to move. Botvinnik played the move and Tamburini's confidence was shattered. What is the move? This is what Botvinnik played. Knight to g4. Did Botvinnik see that little pawn on f3? He did. <laughs> but... Tamburini didn't capture the knight. He played bishop to g5. What's wrong with taking the knight? If pawn takes knight, then the rook takes on a3. And white is advised not to capture the rook because of bishop to d4 winning the queen, winning by pinning. So we have bishop to g5. There is no time to move the queen. f6, blocking with pawn. Bishop to f4, knight from g. To e5, bishop to e2, f5, bishop to g5 attacking the queen again, but now knight to f6, bishop to h6. This is one very busy bishop, isn't he? Bishop to h8, rook from f to d1. Hmm, maybe this is not the best move. Perhaps placing the other rook. On e1 would be better move. Placing the rook on open file. The black is still better. So we have rook from f to d1. Knight to f7 attacking the busy bishop. Bishop to e3. h5 intending h4 and pushing white knight to inferior square. Bishop to f1 making the room for the knight h4 attacking the knight, knight from g to e2, knight to h5, knight to f4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, busy bishop at work again. What would white do without this bishop? Would he resign the game? What do you think? He is using that piece too much. Would you be surprised if I say now it is black to move? 
black played the move and white resigned. This is exactly what happened. Black played a move and white resigned. What is the move? This is the move. Tamburini resigned. This is check. If king goes to h1, what else? Then the busy bishop is trapped. Possible continuation. Bishop takes on g5. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen. Knight takes queen. Black is a piece up. White has no chance. Interesting, isn't it? And what do you think of Botvinnik's b6 against Samish variation? It looks like that b6 worked well for Botvinnik in this game. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.